Hi, I'm Vanessa Spencer and I'm the shop manager here at Stampington & Company and welcome to another creative how-to video. Today we are going to do a two-part video featuring the Vintage Natural Brass Company jewellery findings. I'm going to do the first part where I show you how to alter some blank pendants and just show you some fun techniques. And then Johanna Love, who is our director of photography, will be showing you the second part where she puts the findings together and creates a really cool necklace. So the Vintage Natural Brass products are all 100% natural brass embellishments and they are made using an eco-friendly process. They are not antique plated or chemically treated and they are nickel free and lead free compliant. For the first sample, the technique I used was very simple. It was just simple stamping onto the altered blank. Uh, the stays on ink is the best because it will stay on the metal. And I used the Vintage Collage Rubber Stamp Collection by Tweety Jill. And I just took the art word stamp and just simply stamped straight onto the blank. For the next technique, I just used the Tim Holtz Ideology Texture Hammer, which we sell at the shop at Somerset also. And it comes with four different tips. So I just took the, the altered blank and just simply did some hammering on it with this tip right here. And it came up with a really cool effect. For the next technique, I just took one of the large circle altered blanks and a lovely maiden sticker. Just simply stuck the sticker on and then use the Judikins DG3 Art Gel to glaze over the top. And uh, after you've done that, you can actually just use the paper piercer tool to just poke the hole through the sticker so you can still use it as a pendant. Using the steel stamping set from the shop at Somerset, um, you can use a hammer or a mallet and just stamp some simple words um, like be you or be true, anything like that is fun. Um, and I actually found when I was hammering, um, if you don't have a reverse steel stamping set, if you actually choose words that are symmetrical, you can turn over. This was the original side that I stamped on, and then I turned it over and realized that this side looks so much cooler. So you can uh, have a lot of fun playing around with techniques like that. Okay, and then for this technique, I just took some Ranger paints and the altered blanks, and the, these paints will stay on metal, which is great. So I just did some swirly kind of designs on this one and then a star on this one and then you're going to allow the paint to dry and then you can just take some Art Chicks collage sheet words glue them on using the DG3 and then just use the DG3 to seal over it and glaze over the top. I just like to do like just some random swirly designs just in a very random fashion and then I just take the the raisin color and just do couple of little swirly ones over the top of the blue. So I just put some DG3 on the back of it and then just glue it straight onto the pendant. And then you're just going to use the DG3 just to seal it. And then that's your finished pendant. Thank you Vanessa for introducing us to the vintage line we now carry in the shop at Somerset. Uh, and also for showing us all the lovely techniques to modify the vintage blanks. We're just going to lay out our components and add some beads that you have at home. I'm adding these silver beads that I had. And add some chain at the end with a clasp. And we're going to wire wrap it all together. So the first step is we need to have a take a piece of wire and create a hook in it for our pendant to hang off of. And we're going to make a bigger loop this time to accommodate this larger circular shaped vintage finding that is really beautiful. And you just need to adjust this loop so that it's big enough. So that it's big enough to fit on the wire. Our next step is to bend it over the edges of our handmade pendant. So to do so, it's very simple. All you do is fold the ends in to the center. We're going to connect these findings to our centerpiece ring here with the bead in the middle in the exact same way that we wire wrapped 
the pendant to this circular component. Now we have all of our components wire wrapped to each other and to the chain. So we have to just clip off a couple of inches on each side so we can add a clasp and finish off our necklace. All these components can be found at the shop at Somerset at www.stampington.com. So have fun making this lovely necklace.